Hello everyone, my name is Harold, people from the HP is uh, I'm French, I'm an electrical engineer, and this is my first presentation, and actually the fail, because all my slides are totally messed up. Uh, it's okay, I thought we really did something in the trend, so we'll see what we can do. about solar energy at the steam, the solar project. So the idea is to uh, concentrate the heat energy from the sunlight and convert it into electricity. This is really what I want to do. But since we have heat, why not use it also to heat up some water? So the the system is uh, classified as a uh, concentrated solar power or CSP. Okay. This is the general synoptic of the system. So uh, we go through the other slides uh, slowly, but you can see we have the sunlight on the left is uh, concentrated by the Fresnel lens on the surface that we will consider as a fluid heater. Then the fluid will be transferred to the heat tank where we store the heat energy just as is. From there we have uh, two options, like I said. We can convert it into electricity, but it's a bit more complicated. Or you use what we call the heat exchanger. Uh, which will help you to transfer the heat to a secondary circuit in which you make your water circulating. So here you have some uh, texts about what I just said. So the Fresnel lens, the fluid heater and the heat tank. Here is about the water production. So you see clearly the heat exchanger circuit and on this one is about the electricity production. So what's interesting here is that we use what we call a heat engine. Uh, some very practical one is called a Stirling engine. You have different configuration. This one is supposed to look like an alpha configuration. And which one will convert the heat into mechanical energy? So we generate the torque and we uh, make alt an alternator spinning to produce electricity. What will come next? Uh, actually, is this slide, sorry. <laughs> so you will see that we convert the AC electricity into DC. We store it in batteries. We have uh, voltage regulation, current regulation. And of course, when you need it at home or for any other appliances, you need to convert it back to uh, AC. So the idea behind this is to have another unit to synchronize the AC signal with the grid if you want to send it back. So this is globally the, the, the project I want to develop this year. At the end of my short presentation, you have a list of subsystems I have to work on. So we have the sunlight concentration unit has been done already, or oh, partly actually, I just tested the funnel lens. Uh, we have the sunlight tracking system. Since we need to concentrate the light, we need to have a very, very small spot focusing on a particular area. So we need an active system to track the position of the sun. Temperature control focal point adjustment system is about how big you want the heating, I mean the, 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 the spotlight on your uh, heating elements. So if you don't want to melt the, the device, you have to adjust the, the, the focal distance accordingly. Then you have the high temperature free heater. So this is the device uh, we can see there, the square where all the light is uh, concentrating. We have the high temperature fluid tank. So the fluid tank actually uh, contains some kind of fluid, but usually we use a melted salt 
because they have a higher uh, heat capacity, a higher uh, boiling point as well. Then we, we have uh, the heat exchanger, of course, for the water, hot water production, thermo to electricity, energy converter. So like I said, it would be a steam turbine. This was my first idea or uh, Stirling engine, so, or maybe something inspired from the Stirling engine. I have some ideas in mind, but I'm not really sure it works, so I won't tell more. And of course, all the AC to DC, DC to AC uh, converters. And of course, some control and monitoring system. That's it for now. Someone has any question? Uh, electricity production efficiency compared to solar cell. Okay, uh, I did some research. Uh, I lost the, the pages. Um, when you use, okay, you have different uh, methods. You have the uh, standard photovoltaic uh, solution, which is rated around 20 to 22 percent maximum. You have what we call the concentrate uh, photovoltaic which use also a Fresnel lens to focus the, the sunlight on a, um, to say that, on, a, on the same kind of a cell, but they use up to four junctions of a very high quality or a high efficiency, and they achieve up to 44% doing that. But you need also a light tracking system, so it's more complex, more expensive, and sometimes uh, you, what you gain in productivity is lost in the cost of the installation. And about the thermal approach, we can up to up to 60%. This historically maximum limit, if I'm not wrong. So I will try to get something working around this level, maybe. <laughs> Any other question? Yes, Fazi. No, 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 no. I'm just starting. A uh, few weeks ago, I did the test of the almost one square meter uh, friend. Uh, sorry, friend lens. Yes. So the kind of lens you can get from a. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, I quite use is uh, from an old TV. You know the rear projector kind. Yeah. So I got one. I say, oh, maybe I will start this project this year. <laughs> Yes? Yes. Sorry again? Oh, this structure is because you have one side you can heat up. So even if you have some heat uh, generated, I mean uh, accumulated there, you just go up. On the other side, the cold side, uh, you have also some uh, heat accumulation over time. So in this configuration, you will have by convection to evacuate the, the heat. But this is quite experimental. I mean, for what I want to do. I agree, uh, exists pro a project like this since 1984. One project named Van Gogh was using this and I found out if it was 12 or 25 kilowatts of solar energy with a dish of maybe 12 meters diameter. But the problem is you cannot produce electricity by night. So it's why I need a big tank. Yes? So the, I mean the lens, the, as large as the lens is, that, that's basically the amount of, of power that you need. Oh, yes. So, so what, what is it that you buy compared to just having a larger heat Okay, for one square meter, you can opt for one kilowatt of uh, energy, solar energy. So let's say you work with 60%, uh, ideally, you can reach 600 watts. Oh yes, we can do that. But the, the interest is to uh, get higher temperatures. Some people manage to melt uh, steel, even glass, 
using uh, Fresnel lens. I'm guessing what, what, what you do is you, you capture from a large area, but then your water only needs to be in a small area. So you have to spread out your water in such a large area, right? So your lens can capture a big area of sunlight and then put in a small area of water and get that heated up. You could do the same thing by spreading the water around in the big area, but then I'm guessing you also have some a lot more conducted out. Also there. <laughs> I think we are almost at the same level. Uh, one of my friends told me he wants to install solar panels on a shelter, uh, or shelter, right? And he told me he's expecting 400 or 800 watts for one square meter, roughly. But this is at best. So for me, it's not to compete really with the existing solutions. It's just an exploration for my own interest. But see if we can really do much better, if we can also reduce the size of the setup. Since you're concentrating uh, sunlight, uh, is, is it, uh, I'm just wondering, is it possible to have a, a high efficiency even though the sun may not be uh, as optimal uh, uh, levels compared to, let's say, a solar cell? I think so, because um, we are reaching very, very high temperatures, but we don't need 3,000 uh, degrees Celsius for the, the setup to work, actually. So it's just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyone else? No? Well, okay, so if there's no one else, uh, let's give Harold a round of applause for his first time and, and doing wonderful job there.